This is the assembly process for the top right corner. And the, this has been a modified by EPP. They have changed the way the star is assembled and they've removed the center star altogether. And so you go to the booklet that they have and since it's a bigger piece, it's a full piece of paper. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna assemble this square first and it's gonna be done in units. So I've got a square unit and then a flying geese unit essentially and a square unit. So I'm gonna put each one of these together in their four piece triangle unit and then I can attach it to the triangle and then I can then attach it to the square. So I'm gonna make a row, but it's gonna be a process. So, especially with these little tiny pieces, I have the edge pieces that this thing here and here, here, and then all of this is set aside right now in my bag because the corners are considerably bigger and my storage box I work on top of is not big enough. So. I do have the rest of my pieces in here that I will get out once I've assembled the center section. So I'm gonna be basting. The basting is gonna be quite important with this, with all of these little triangles. This is gonna be basted first and then this, so my tags go out towards the outside. For these, my tags are gonna go out here. So we're gonna baste this first, so my tags go away. And then these, I'm gonna baste this first and then this last so my tags go out away from this seam on both of them. So this one's gonna be like this. They're all gonna be basted that exact same way. And then these are gonna be opposite sides and then opposite sides. And it's all just a repeat from there. And this is just a big square in the center. I do have a directional stripe, so I wanna make sure that I keep everything the, the same direction as I go. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is work on this bottom section right here. I've basted all of my pieces for this side and I'm gonna keep them in order. And I'm also gonna make sure that my stripes stay in the same direction. But now I'm going to assemble them. I'm gonna put this block together first, these two pieces here. So I'm gonna make this square and then I'll add these two before adding it to the triangle in both cases. I've got my triangle units all assembled and my stripes are going in the same direction. So now I will attach them to the triangle to make it the flying geese section and then I will attach the squares on the edge to complete the row. So I've completed the bottom row and all my stripes are going in the right direction. So I'm gonna set this aside and then I'm gonna to go to this center section which consists of uh, the flying geese unit, the center square, and the other flying geese unit. So I will get one of these basted and connected first before doing the other ones. So I got all of my pieces basted for this flying geese unit and just like the other ones were. And I will go ahead and put those together and I've basted my center square. Now, I didn't baste these yet because I'm just going to work on one section at a time. So I basted all these ready to go. So I've assembled my triangle units and this is sitting this way. So this is going to sit like this and these are going to sit sideways. So they'll be this way. No. Nope. Flip them up. Okay, so I just want to check that my stripes are good. Yep, so they're all going in the same direction, that way. And then, then, so put these back where they were, and I will attach them to the triangle now. So I've got my flying geese unit all assembled here. So now I'm gonna go over to this one and baste in it and sew this one together as well. So I've got all my pieces basted and I've got this all together with the four triangles and my fabric is all in the same direction. So now I'm going to attach it to the larger triangle to make the flying geese unit. So I've got this flying geese unit all put together and my fabric's going in the same direction. So now I'm going to attach this one and this one to my center square. 
So I got the center section all assembled. And now I'm going to flip it over and flip this one over and put these together so I have one unit. Now I've got both rows put together and all of my fabrics going the same way and all of my intersections are lined up just right. So I will go on to the next section of flying geese and baste and get this unit made. Okay, I basted all my pieces and I've assembled these into their units. So now I'm going to make this flying geese unit and then attach the squares to finish that top row. So now I've got the top row assembled and I will put it on top of the other two rows I've already put together. So I've got all three rows attached. So basically I have a block completed, but I'm not making a block, I'm making a corner. So this is the center part. The rest of my pieces were in my bag. So now I can lay these out and so my block is gonna go there and then this is down here because it's the pointed one. This is going to be down there. This is my triangle with all the little star pieces on it. And this one, this big piece goes there. And then I have an angled piece. So the longest one goes on the top. I should have two here. Yep, there's, there's one and two. So this one goes up here, angled on this side, flat on this side. And then this one is angled on this side, flat on that side. So, whoops. This is what we got. So our first thing I'm gonna do is put this piece on since it's just this side of the thing. So I'm gonna base this, oops, this is gonna be upside down to do that. I'm gonna base this and then I'm gonna base these two little tiny sides first, and then I'll do these, and then I'll do this last one, or this one last, um, and then I'll attach it to my center square. So I've got the left side here attached. So this is what we should have at this point. So then the next one to do would be this one. So I'm gonna base this the same way I base this here and then here and then the other two sides and then I'll attach it to my unit. So now the bottom section has been attached and we've got two side pieces now. We can do we can do this one. So I'm going to base and attach this one next. So I basted my side but just as a reminder, the angled side not the flat side, the angled side goes down here on the bottom. So that's where I got this to go right there. I've got my strip attached at this point. There was a lot of uh, take up because there was a bunch of growth on this side. So I did have to kind of wrangle it in, but it'll go down and depuff once I take the papers out. So it'll be all right. So the next thing to do would be to put on this top bar. And again, the slanted side is going to go here against this edge and the, the flat side is going to go on this side. So I will baste and attach this now. So I've got my top strip on. So, so far I've got my block surrounded by the borders on here. And then the last part of this is going to be, whoops, is going to be my star here appliqued onto this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to assemble the star first. So I will baste and connect these and then I'll have that ready to go so I can put it on here with accuracy. And you want to make sure that you get the right line on the right side because it does matter. So this I double checked that this was the right area that goes on to the assembly. So first thing I'll put these together. So I've got my pieces basted. I did them exactly the same way. I started this way and then I did this one and this one and then I flipped them and did this one and this one. And I did all of them the same way so that when you put them 
in their star, then they, they nest and they spiral into each other. And I've sewn uh, two sets of two together. So those are going to be put together from there. And then I will add this and complete the star. So I've got my star all assembled and my seams are uh, spinning so they don't have to be that bulky. And then I've got my piece, my background piece here basted. And what I did is I went and found the center point of this line and drew a faint pencil line to the point. And what that does is if you see here, you can orient it and you don't have to do this, but I like it to be, you know, the pointing in the corner. And you, you line this up with this point on the line and then this seam on the line and then I'm going to staple it down once I get it positioned properly in at least three places and then I can applique it on. So I've attached my star with my staples and you want to just make sure that the points if you look at them after the tags aren't there that are not over the edge. So these are just inside the edge and so now I'm going to applique this down and I'll tuck my tabs in as I go. So I've got my star applique on and this is going to be my edge here and so I'm going to attach it to the rest of my corner assembled. So I've attached the tip to the rest of my corner and now my top right corner is completed.